Shots of George Shultz being there, yeah. <laughs> wide open. During, during your stay in, in Moscow, uh, I've read somewhere in the press that you might be visiting the monastery of the Orthodox Church in Moscow. Yes, I think that is on the. And that I think would have a very high symbolic value of, of encouragement for believers uh, in the Soviet Union. Yes. Well, we're believe me, this is very important and a part of our agenda, and we're going to do everything. We try and see if they can't be persuaded to <coughs> It's not every day that the, that the uh, Jewish refuseniks get to participate in, in this kind of an ecumenical uh, activity, and we're very glad to be here to join in this. While we're there, Nancy's going to be meeting with a uh, number of refuseniks whose names we have. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, we, were, we were wonderfully pleased at the uh, contacts that uh, Bill Verity made last week. Was, it's, 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 it's a different kind of message when the Commerce Department is as worried for the administration as the human rights part of the government. So that was a wonderful improvement. I have a letter from well, it, it, this was enclosed in a letter, a single page thing that dates back to World War II. And it is a beautiful thing. It's a soldier in a shell hole waiting for the order, there's an attack scheduled. And it's a prayer that he was saying and acknowledging that he had been told there was no God and that he foolishly believed and so forth. And he went on and told about in this attack and uh, that if the attack took place, he would be calling 
<laughs> on God and so forth. Beautifully written thing. And uh, it was taken from his body. He was a casualty in the attack. He was killed. Mm -hmm. And this was that he had gotten his religion there and against all that he'd been raised to believe the other way. There seems to be a renaissance of religious faith in the Soviet Union. Yes. And I, again, I think heightens the urgency of what you will do and what we will try to do in the private sector. So, thank you again. Well, I've been called on by some of those soldiers who defected in Afghanistan mm -hmm. and that we were able to get out of Afghanistan. Here, they had letters from them, individual letters. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was amazed in each instance there. They, inside, had religion. They had a belief. Someone you know might be in Moscow for the Millennium Celebration of the Orthodox Church, Suzanne Massey. I don't know her yet personally, but I have close oh, she's common friends. And she's a remarkable woman, yes. So she might be going there in June for the Millennium Celebration. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you. Hey, President, I'd like to introduce you to Senate Colonel Danny Barr. Yes, I know. Hello there. How are you? He's uh, our See candidate you. to be the replacement to Bob Ruddick. Well, that's what I thought you I understand. And how is that new thing that you had? It's uh, right on time, sir. And uh, could it be good? It's, a, gonna be, it's a great airplane. You're going to love it. Well, all right. It'd be a pleasure to fly in. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Is that familiar? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was present. Hi. Good day. It's great. It was well, great. I hear you and I have something in common. We're both going to retire. We're both getting short, yes. Sir. <laughs> We're both getting short. About oh, the well. same time, I think. Well, I thank you for all that you've done. And we'll miss you. I know it has to happen. I will miss this, too. It's been a real pleasure. Really, has a real honor and a pleasure. Well, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure for us. Maybe we should get one with the two of them. That's a good idea. Yeah. Each side. How do you want to do that? Well, I'll I'll the person will take charge. I'll get in the middle. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. Thank you, sir. Well, all right. Well, I'm good. We'll look forward to it. Yes, sir. We are taking Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, Mr. President. To meet my daughter Susie. Hello, Susie. How are you? And my son David. Hello, Hi, Susie. David. How are you? And we'll, if we could just uh, say hello, we, we just appreciate your taking the time we to really say do. Uh, hello to us. This is a great opportunity for, for Justin and a great opportunity for my kids to, uh, well, to uh, wish well, you well Tuesday. in this last year of your presidency. And uh, we happen to be Louisiana Republicans too, Jimmy and I are. A rare commodity. We're, we're very, very rare. proud of the fact that, uh, that we can do what we can to help you anytime we can. Well, bless you. Thank you very much. Why don't we get a group picture here also? They supported me during my bid for governor, and as yes, you did, and I, I appreciated all your your help. Our I'd like to see kids a hot break. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a pleasure, and I know that you're seeing a lot of people, and they're so glad to, they're not near as glad to see you as I am, though I guarantee you, that's for true. <laughs> I've been waiting to hear that. <laughs> you've seen him on his TV show, I suppose, Mr. President. He's cooking up a storm. I'm an I'm executive cook at my house, President Reagan. That means I wash the dishes, too. <laughs> he does. Well, and, and be sure and give uh, our fondest regards to your lovely wife. I, I certainly am very much am aware of what she's doing in the drug problem. And I'm, uh, I support her 1,000%. Well, bless you and thank you. Incidentally, on that dishwashing, I might as well tell you that 
One of the better jobs I ever had in my life was when I was going through college. I had a job washing dishes in the girls' dormitory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. That's sort of like you part Cajun, you know? <laughs> it really does. Thank, Thank you so sure. much. Thank you. Au revoir. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Jeff, good to see you, sir. Thanks for coming in. Thanks again for your time. Appreciate you doing this. Got something special for you here. Right, Let me maybe move on the other side of it. Tram, why don't you go ahead and I'll get me out of the picture now, right? All right, sir. If you uh, Mr. President, so Mr. 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 President, Mr. President, uh, why don't you tell the story on this? Sir? Well, we're in the midst of our centennial year for the American Society of Naval Engineers, Mr. President, and it is our great pleasure to have commissioned this ship model of the USS California in the hopes that it will find a way to be displayed at the Reagan Memorial Library. My goodness, it will be. You don't know how much you've touched a, mer a nerve. Well, we hope so. well, when I was a boy, and quite a small boy, but for several years, one gift above all that I treasured was uh, a 12-foot World War I destroyer that was being made by one of the companies that made electric trains, but they also made boats. And this was a wind-up boat. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, it graduated in the bathtub. We lived in the river town. It was up and down Rock River with me. I treasured that thing. And it kind of stuck to the place that um, when I got out of the Army after World War II, don't ask me why, but I just had a yen to do something, and I made two model ships out of wood. And one of them was a liner, the, the America, and another one was a freighter. And uh, they are still up at the ranch. <laughs> well, I wanted to be in now this you matter. Have a nuclear powered cruiser. Nuclear <laughs> cruiser. <laughs> I wanted to be the USS Mississippi, but since you're from California, I thought maybe it would be more special to have it the California. Ms. Ms. Nixon christened this ship. And of she course, uh, the did. Ticonderoga we built at Pascagoula was christened by Mrs. Reagan uh, a few years yeah. ago. Did they, they managed to break the bounds. Yes, sir. She was so <laughs> nervous about that. Sure they did. <laughs> she, Ms. Uh, Reagan, you were in the hospital at the time, but she worried about that the day before. About uh, she remembered the pictures. I think it was Miss Roosevelt, somebody one time that just almost dented the bow. She hit it about five back. <laughs> before Miss Reagan, when she she let go, it was a powerful swing. Got it the first crack. Oh, well, this is magnificent. But I would yield to. I think yes. I think the presidential library would be the proper place. That's wonderful. That's great. Thank you very much. We'll come and see it when it happens. Mr. President, right. Trent's been a tremendous so help to us on the trade bill as well. He's just been, Trent Lott has been just working as hard as he can for us. I'm still hoping we could sustain your veto in the House. Uh, I'm not ready to give up on that at all. Well, all right. Okay. Make a good try. Well, we'll, we'll do it. This God bless you, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You know, after all of that ship love that I had all through my life and when I was a boy, how the hell did I wind up with the lieutenant and the horse cannon? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Curzon. Congressman John Rowland, Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President, good to see you. How are you? Well, you're very nice Thank to you. have us all, and we appreciate it very much. Well, what is it, man? Looking forward to this. Outstanding young guy. Please meet Father Kasha. Very happy to meet you, Mr. President. Well, to very you. honored to have our group and our school here this, this morning with you. Well, I'm pleased to see them. Mayor Joe Santapietro from City of Waterbury. Famous mayor of the country. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Assistant coach, Mark Buckley. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, thank you. These are the wrestlers. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good, how are you? Hello. Mr. President, you notice they're getting bigger and bigger as they come in. We've got in my weight class. Hello there. Nice to see you. Maybe not. Anyone, Mr. President? How are you? Good? Mr. President? Hello. Mr. President, we want to thank you for uh, having us all in. Father Kasha is the coach, and perhaps we'll get together for a joint picture, and he'd like to make a few comments to you. Why don't we get the President in the center, and we'll have half the team on one side and half on the other, and all of you fill in. So we have some other step down. Down. Okay, a couple of you heavyweights down this side. That's right, yeah. Oh, we'll we'll you up right down. Down. There we go. Okay. I guess we're coming Okay, cool. Right. Good. That's good. Wide angle. <laughs> How's that? 
Me? You guys smiling? Your wrestlers are supposed to be looking kind of angry and mean. Thank you, sir. We have time for a for a few questions. I I think this is a wonderful thing Thank you, that you've done and that you're doing because I have long believed that if all of the young people in the world could get to know each other, there'd never be another. Year. That's right. The impressions treated us very very friendly, very very uh, cordially. I just have some pictures for you. This was at when I was at Leningrad. Uh, the people there had came to him and asked me to help them in a people-to-people -people trade. And it was in the form of Waterbury Leningrad Intersport Trade Commission. The mayor and I are going back to Leningrad in June uh, to work and to help exchange more athletes and bring more of the Soviets here and have our people, more of our athletes go there to develop a more people-to-people -people relationship. Now, something I've always wondered about, I know there are other schools too, that have various like, exchanges and so forth. Tell me, uh, is it always through an interpreter or whose language is taught when you... We, we use our language, yeah. And uh, they, the interest guides uh, speak very, very good English, sometimes better than us. So they do the interpretation. <laughs> they do the interpretation. Do you ever run into young people there that have learned our language? Oh, yeah, yeah. Through Some of them. I'm convinced that ours must be the easiest language in the world because... Yeah. Uh, well, I, I began to suspect that when in pictures and movies, when they would uh, uh, foreign pictures and have the subtitles and so forth, and uh, in our language, boom, it just comes out in a few words and that. But then in the foreign language, if he seems to be talking a whole paragraph, and then the subtitle says, "Hello, how are you?" <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and I've, I've wondered. I know that uh, I've, I've heard rumors that young people in the Soviet Union. Moscow particularly, that's kind of a fad with them of learning English for some reason or other. Oh, yeah. They don't go out after the other languages, <laughs> but yeah. English. Yeah. They were very, very friendly with us. And uh, so just, this is uh, some of the wrestling pictures here. This is Chuck Lowe. He was pinning his uh, Soviet wrestler. He won the team photo. Here's a photo for you of the team in front of, uh, in front of the uh, St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow. And we also have a jacket for you, so your own team jacket from Sacred Heart. Well, thank you. Well, name on it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Let's take the yellow tag on it. Okay. There you go. Get a good Whoop. picture of that. You guys all smile for that shot. <laughs> And we also brought a pair of wrestling, Russian wrestling shoes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can wear those around the house. <laughs> now, how do they compare with what we make? Uh, well, these are the ones we have. These are our wrestling shoes. Those were given to us by Tiger Corporation they, uh, for the trip. And, uh, Ken, how are you? And the, the jackets were all given to us by Starter Corporation of New Haven for the trip. They made them especially for the... Uh, for the and we also have a banner. This is... Uh, I saw uh, the, on that table in one of those pictures that, that must yeah. have been the same thing. Yeah, that's a wrestling banner from the, uh, from the Wrestling Palace in Leningrad. Well, by golly. And we also have, <laughs> so we, we brought you a few yeah, gifts. This special is a video. this week, Mr. President. This is a special this week, yeah. This is a video here of myself saying mass in the Soviet Union. The Soviets gave us a room in the hotel. They set me up for mass, uh, and they allowed me to say mass for the group. And I have a picture in here of them presenting to me a loaf of bread to be used for the, for the mass and also